This is lesson four in our Adobe Illustrator tutorial. In the last lesson, we learned some of the basics of using the pen tool. Now we need to practice a few of the different moves that you can make with the pen tool to create complex shapes. I prepared two templates for you. The first one will open. Now these are you can download from the web. So we'll go to open that, and it's called pen tool number one. Notice it says AIT. That means Adobe Illustrator template. Generally, we'll save our files not as templates, but as just Adobe Illustrator files. A template is something that you can save, a certain way of saving a file, so that when you open it, um, it opens a, a copy of it and not the actual file, so the file stays untouched. So here's our uh, exercise, and it's one in using the pen tool to create a couple of shapes and it introduces a couple of concepts. The first is that if you hold the shift key as you click and drag, you'll get a vertical handle like that, perfectly vertical. And if we just do that like so, we can quickly draw a very cool looking scallop shape and each one of these, if we keep our data points the same, each one of these will be um, a nice semicircle, like so. Okay. Now let's swap out our colors here. See how that works. Now, how do we? We can close our polygon. Like so. And again, if we swap our colors now, you'll see how that works. I'm going to delete this shape. And uh, we'll do it again. Uh, let me just show you a couple of tricks. If you want everything to come out exactly right, remember we can drag ruler guides down and set them up where we want. So we draw, drag one there, one there, and one there. And that would help us then work very quickly because everything snaps to the guide. We hold the shift key down to restrain our handles to the vertical. Notice how the arrow changes color when we're on the guide, like so. And this allows us to create uniform, smooth shapes. Now the template down below uh, asks you to do one other thing and that would be we're going to click and drag whoops I'm going to just deselect this so that I can start a new shape I can click and drag holding the shift key down but then I'm going to apply the option key notice I get my conversion tool when I press on the option key I'm going to use my option key and drag this handle around like so. See that? We'll do that again. Shift key for to restrain it to the vertical. Option key. Swing that handle around like so. Shift key. Option key. Shift key option key, shift key, option key, and so forth. And then I can complete my polygon like so. Okay, so that's two concepts there, holding the shift key to restrain our dragging to either the horizontal and if you click and drag this way and hold the shift key it'll be perfectly horizontal and the other concept is using the option key to reverse or to uh, convert a point on the fly for the next part of our pen tool exercise we're going to open another template uh, again you can download this from the internet this is called pen tool 02 
And um, it has on it representations of what we call French curves. Now, French curves are plastic or metal devices that architects and uh, other artists might use, graphic artists might use to uh, f create smooth curves. And they could, because there's a variation in many different uh, curves and uh, sh to these shapes, you could match the curve you wanted, find an area on here that would match the curve you wanted. We're going to trace one of these. Now, I'm going to zoom in so I can see better and place it in my work area so it's as to uh, give me a good uh, look at it. And w what you're going to do for this exercise is combine two concepts. The first being drawing shapes, complex shapes with uh, Illustrator, and the other making a compound shape to create the finished French curve. Now I'm going to start with the outside, and one uh, tip for using the pen tool is to draw as few data points as you want. Now here I am not holding any keys down. This is the first one I held the shift key to uh, make it horizontal, but the next one I am not because it is not. Uh, we need to do a little bit more freehand kind of drawing. And then the next one might hold the shift key here. You wouldn't have to necessarily. But the tip is to draw as few data points as possible. And um, uh, edit as you go if you want. Notice my fill now is obscuring my drawing, so I'm going to turn the fill off. And then here's a corner point, so we just click and as few points as possible. And the other tip is to avoid dragging one handle past another. I'll show you what I mean here. It, that It's very difficult to get smooth shapes if you find yourself going Cl very close to handles here because what it does is it creates almost like a square uh, uh, a, a square shape there when you want a smooth curve. Here's our next one. Another corner point. Always drag in the direction you are drawing. So I'm starting out by drawing uh, in a clockwise fashion so every drag that I do is also in a clockwise fashion uh, like so another corner point a little tiny shape here now here you notice I'm I can hold my option or alt key and edit on the fly get it just right again here this handle down here is too long option key down like so and option key and then here I have to click and drag again and then do the last edit with my option key down like so there's my outside shape and uh, this is good practice. There's several of these French curves for you to practice on. Do this one first. It has sort of the guide. Uh, and then uh, work on the other ones uh, and practice getting nice, smooth shapes and getting everything to come out right. Now, on this shape right here, I'm going to drag this way and then hold my Option key down and reverse this handle so that I get this sort of shape here like that go here again and here we're going to do the same thing again always dragging at first in the direction we want to go option key or alt key like so option key or alt key to edit If you miss, you get that dialog. Okay. This one here needs, isn't quite right, so we'll adjust it. All the shapes that we need.
so. And back to our beginning, like so. Okay, now once you get both of these drawn, we can select them and again turn them into our compound sh path and we have our nice French curve. So practice on the other ones and when you get done with those then we can start working on some other projects.